Speaking of good food and great dining, the Twisted Olive Restaurant in Petoskey has been chosen to take part in the Chef Exchange Program with the Kalani Mountain Lodge in Canada. Joining us right now, Kirsten O'Keefe, the owner of the Twisted Olive. Good morning, Kirsten. Good morning, Ron. How are you doing? I'm doing wonderful. Thank you very much. Well, this is a special event, but I'm trying to think before we get into this, didn't you have another special event like in the last year or so with um, one of the, the chefs on the TV shows? The Top Chef winner, May Lynn, correct? Yeah. Wonderful, this past December. So how do you get uh, how do you get involved with these special events like this? Oh, I just feel so fortunate. Um, we just had a mutual chef who attended that night as well with May Lynn, James Regato, who has visited our restaurant before. He has a wonderful restaurant downstate Michigan. And he just happened to be standing next to May Lynn, um, when we called him to, to come up and visit us once again, and she uh, was delighted to come and mm-hmm. visit Northern Michigan at the time, so we were fortunate. And the chefs across the Great Lakes, now you'll send your chef to uh, Kalani Mountain Lodge, uh, what, what, like this week, right? He leaves today. The dinner is Wednesday, May 25th, correct. And what the, what is the uh, benefit, would you say, for you, for the Twisted Olive and or the Kalani Mount Lodge to have the Chef Exchange Program like this? Well, it's exciting to be involved with another restaurant. It gives our chef a chance to get out, to get away, to visit their site, um, to have a little bit of free time, experience the wonderful Georgian Bay fishing and hiking, and then to meet other chefs and work with them. So it's exciting then to have them come visit us in October, and we'll get to see something new and fresh from them as well. Yeah, so uh, Lee Fortune, your chef, will be there this week. Now, will he work with the the local ingredients, or will he try to bring something that uh, mirrors your menu and and Northern Michigan? Well, Lee did set the menu for the event um, and went over it with their chef, and he approved everything. They were able to get all the ingredients that we needed um, locally there in Georgian Bay. Okay. So now in October, the uh, chef from Kalani Mountain Lodge will be at Twisted Olive. That's correct. Mm-hmm. Chef Gee will be coming, yes. And who approves that menu? So Chef Gee will develop the menu and then work with myself and Lee uh, before the event in October um, to go over. And that's just going to be a one-night thing in October? Correct. Ah, so you can't get tickets for that yet, can you? We don't have tickets quite yet, but we're very excited. Yeah. All right, so uh, tell us about Lee Fortune, your chef there. Um, how did you find him? How long have you been together, and uh, what's his specialty? Lee came to us in January of 2014. He came by way of chef owner David Beyer, who previously owned um, Rollin Lake Inn. Uh, when he was retiring and closing and selling the location, he called me and said he was looking for the perfect spot for Lee. Um, Lee was just a treasure, and of course, we opened our arms to him. He's been with us ever since. He's my executive chef, and he's just wonderful. Uh, and he uh, worked at, t- did he uh, train with a Tampa Lingo chef too, correct? We did have Michael Sullivan, um, mm. who was with the new Wobble and Lincoln, who had also been a Tapa Wingo chef. Um, he just left us recently for the summer. He had a wonderful opportunity out in Martha's Vineyard. So I could understand why he wanted to go experience that. So we miss him right now, but he'll be back in the fall. Right, so good things going on there. And the Twisted Olive is the restaurant you started up about six years ago or so. Um, tell us a bit, I mean, how did you get into the restaurant business and become an owner? Uh, well, that, it was a challenge. Um, yeah. I opened it up in uh, November of 2010, um, I've always loved food. I've always had a passion for food and hospitality. I knew I would do something um, in this regard. At some point in my life, um, I started a catering business when my daughter was so young, and it took off, but it took so many nights and weekends and holidays. I had to put that area of my life on hold. So I was waiting until my daughter was grown. It was in her senior year that I started developing the Twisted Olive um, Bay Street in Batoski. And just took a few steps to see if this was the right timing. And then, lo and behold, in mm. Thanksgiving of 2010, we opened, and it's just been a wonderful success. I feel very, very fortunate. Yeah, that's um, 
um, good, I would guess, then for the Petoskey food scene, for you to get all this uh, you know, publicity to be involved here, uh, just brings more attention to the entire food scene in Petoskey, I would imagine. The food scene in Petoskey is an exciting place right now. We've just been adding more and more restaurants, um, giving um, customers, you know, new experiences, different cuisines. Um, so it's exciting to see what's happening in Petoskey with food. No shortage of people who are out looking for good food and no shortage of people like yourself who love to create it and uh, create the scene and, uh, and be hospitable. And, exactly. Yeah. Well, that's good. That's, so, again, this uh, people, you won't be able to take advantage of Wednesday's dinner as Chef Fortune will be in um, uh, Ontario there at the Killarney Mountain Lodge on Georgian Bay. But in October, the Georgian Bay Chef will be at Twisted Island and maybe we'll connect them and let people know what's happening. Well, I would love that, and thank you, Ron, so much. We appreciate you um, bringing this to everyone's attention. All right, thanks a lot. Kirsten is uh, Kirsten O'Keefe, the owner of the Twisted Olive 